Hey guys, so today's video was so much fun to film. This is a week in our preschool. So my four-year-old, we are doing pre-K four at home this year, and he also has two older siblings and one younger sibling. Um, so I thought this would give you a realistic glimpse into how we get some one-on-one -on -one learning time in in our days. So if you're not familiar, uh, I try to get a little bit of preschool time in with him while the kids are doing their independent work and I will put a link up here so you can see how we do our independent folder work. He also always does morning basket with us. I will put another link up here um, to my video from last week about our morning basket time. That will give you another peek at how long he sits through morning basket and how much he does with us because it is an upper, a mid to upper elementary a morning basket. So he just does a few simple things with us and then he usually trails off. Um, additionally, I have a few other preschool videos coming up this weekend. I thought it would just make the most sense to group them all together. So for the next few days, I will have some other preschool content. If you guys like that, give this video a thumbs up and maybe I will do that again during Vlogmas in December. So this is just what preschool looks like for us. This is just about 20 to 30 minutes each morning together, just doing a little bit of additional work, some one-on-one -on -one time with him on top of the group learning that he participates in. So here we go, let's get right to it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I have these shelves set up for preschool this week. Um, this is the shelf where I put our letter of the week Oh, there's some dust over there. Our letter of the week supplies. So it is the letter G this week. Eli just loves to do letter of the week. So we're doing it all again. We did it all last year. Uh, I think we did G is for giraffe, but this year we're gonna do G is for gumball. So I'll show you that when we get to that. So I'll put a letter of the week thing in there. Today is a craft. Tomorrow will probably be just like a, a letter sounds activity and so forth and so on. But you'll see that every day this week. A little math activity in here. So he's got lift the flap first math and count to 100. Just books for him to peek through. These are all shelves for him to just go through at his leisure. Um, aside from that, I do that with him. But the rest of it is just for him to go through at his leisure while I'm working with the other kids or if we're doing like morning basket and he doesn't want to do some of the harder things. Uh, so I'll swap these two out almost every day. And then um, this is going to stay here all week. This is the Let's Play School. Let's play pretend set and this is the pumpkin kit. This is super cute. This is something that we have our play kitchen right here in the school room so he can just set this up like a little pumpkin farm. And believe it or not, this is something that all of the kids like to play with. I'm sure you guys um, get me here. Like sensory bins and pretend play and creative play are all things that your kids never really age out of. They might just pretend to be playing with the little kids but they're actually enjoying it. So. This is gonna be set up for the whole week. That way he can set it up in his play kitchen and leave it however it is. Um, the Let's Play Pretend set, she, it's actually pretty inexpensive. It's either five or $10. I'm gonna put it in the description box below. Um, she adds new kits to it consistently. So right now we have um, like a coffee shop and an animal hospital and things like that. So. Um, there's plenty of options there. All right, and then down here, these are all things that I technically have set up for Annabeth, but Eli will 100% play with them as well. So this is an apple sensory bin. If you have not seen the video already, I have already filmed my sensory bin video, um, a fall sensory bins, but it might just have not been scheduled yet. So you'll see that soon if you haven't seen it already. Um, and then some Play-Doh mats. These are from the reading corner. And then the magformers which annabeth and eli both love 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 magformers so i didn't even need to add any instructional thing they just love to play with them so that is kind of their creative and fun independent shelves here and i will show you his folder for today it is monday october okay, 1st. so if you saw my um independent work video then you know eli has his own folder i will link it up here so you can check it out on um, this side is some independent work and on this side is work that they do with me. So when I spend about 15 minutes with Eli, um, we are going through this, the Reading Corner Preschool Curriculum. So this is week two. We've been going through it slowly. We have not done it five days a week because we also mix in like a little bit of five in a row and some of the Let's Play School stuff. So if it takes us, um, you know, two weeks to go through the activities because I don't feel like we spent a lot of time on them, then that's what we do. Um, we actually took two weeks on week one. We're moving on to week two, but next week we're going to start. She has some really cute Halloween 
themed lesson plans. So we're going to do those for a couple weeks and then we might go back to week two to solidify some stuff. Um, and then over here, his independent work today is just this little word clip game. This is also from the reading corner from her game packs. So, um, he just clips these on to here just to recognize letters in different fonts and colors. And then he just has a scissors, you know, cutting. This is another thing from the reading corner. Total case of the Mondays kind of a day. I thought it looked weird. Yeah, I was missing his chore chart. So if you want to see the chore chart, check out that folders video where I go into a little bit more detail. So there we go. Now we're ready for Monday. How's it going? It's not split its legs. It's like it split its legs. That is hard stuff, huh? Ooh, almost to the red. Good. I cut the finish line. You did. Granola bar bite. All right, use your glue stick. You ready? Use your glue stick. Glue the back of this, then flip it over and press it down. Perfect. What's missing from the gumball machine? The gumballs. The gumballs? Here they are. Yay. So now you're going to use your, your, this glue, not your glue stick, this glue. Put a glob of glue and stick a gumball down. <gasps> hey, what else starts with G? G. What are you holding in your hand? Glue. Yes. That's a blue gumball. A blue gumball, yep. What color would start with a G? Huh? What color? Think of your colors. What? What color would start? What color? What color was, would go g, g? Ground! Ground, but that's not a color. <laughs> Ground's not a color. Oh, gray? Yeah. Okay, but... Gray. Okay, what color is that basket? The basket that's holding your gumballs. Oh, is that blue? I thought that was g, g. Green! Green, <laughs> yeah. You're doing great, Eli. I know. You know? Mm -hmm. That's the confidence we need, right? <laughs> oh, on the G too. Ooh. Ooh, it's okay, it'll dry clear. <laughs> Fun. Gumball say gumball. Are you gumball gonna use? Say gumball. <laughs> are you gonna use all those gumballs? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna start at the top of the list here. You ready, Eli? Yeah. Okay, come over here. Good morning. What does that say? Good morning, Eli. Eli, today is Monday. What is your favorite toy to play with? P-L-A-Y, right? P-L-A-Y, play with. What is your favorite toy to play with? Lego Duplos. Lego Duplos. Do you see objects that are shaped like circles in our house? <gasps> Love, Mommy. Oh yeah, these apples, what else? Word game, are you ready? Mm -hmm. I say gum. Ball. What is the word? Gumball. Gumball. All right, let's sit down and do the rest of your work. Wow. Where'd it go? Go ahead. You touch the words and read it. I like to play. Train. Good. Are you, are you supposed to say it? No, you're reading it now. Go ahead. There are your say words. Like no, where's I? Where's I? I Good. like to play doll. Good. I like to No, play. no, where's the eye? Touch the eye. I like to play play. Okay, Good hang job. it up underneath the flag. What? Your flag. My flag? Yep. Good. Okay, we're gonna read that again tomorrow, okay? Okay, go ahead and read the book for me. I like to play train. Okay. I like to play doll. Uh, I don't know that flips. I like 
to play golf. I like to play plane. I like to play blocks. I like to play. I like to play blocks. I like to play beach ball. Ball, not beach ball. I like to play ball. Okay, and last I like one. To play golf. Did you read that whole book? Yep. You did? Look. Oh, so awesome. Okay, what do you think you're supposed to do here? Match up the colors. Okay, so what number is that? Four. What color is four supposed to be? Blue, I know. Okay, okay, you've got this. Can you do this? I'm gonna go check on Jesse's math grade. Will you do this, okay? Yeah. Okay, we are gonna take a break because I think we might be a little tired and a little hungry, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit? Yeah. So it's a good place for a break and a snack. Okay. Go ahead and put your stuff back in the folder then, okay? It's okay. okay. You have a pumpkin patch. Do you want to set up a pumpkin patch? Yeah. Yeah? But, but I set these pumpkins. Where do you want to set them? You going to set them up? What'd you buy, Bells? Two pumpkin muffins. Two pumpkin muffins? Do you want one? Oh, I think I'm gonna go buy some pumpkins from Eli's pumpkin patch here. No, it is hot chocolate. Ooh, do I see wagon rides over there? Yeah. Yeah? You sit in the wagon and... Ooh, oh. I might buy some hot chocolate. You know what? Can I buy some hot chocolate? It looks like it's $2. Okay. Is it? Am I right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, here's my $2. I would like to buy a pumpkin. I want to get a giant pumpkin. Me too, for twenty. Wait, I haven't gotten my hot chocolate yet. For two dollars. Wait, for twenty. I paid. I paid. Where's my hot chocolate? <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> that looks delicious. Did you make this yourself? Yeah. Did you make this yourself, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Thank the you. No, Eli, the pumpkins over here. So the <laughs> giant one is for twenty dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah, me too. Me too. His pumpkin patch is about to get torn through as soon as that granola bar's gone. Am I right? You gonna go Godzilla on the pumpkin patch? You thinking about it? Okay, I am just gonna show you what we added here today. So, I put, today I put three different letter G books up here just for him to peek through or us to read together. Hopefully that will encourage him to bring um, those books to me, but he might bring different books and I'll still read them with him, of course. Um, one of the things he loves to do is build a letter. He loves these magformers. We also use the um, snap cubes or we will use play sticks or just different objects to build the letter together. So today we're gonna to use mag formers to build the letter. Because I took these off of the shelves that Annabeth uses, I just swapped out her little um, shape sorter and one of her favorite books for the day. So uh, she'll still grab these though. But So that's up there for him. Um, and then we did not get around to using these math books yesterday. He, I'm sure you saw, um, he tired out yesterday, so I did, we didn't keep going, and he never came back around to doing anything else. He just kind of hung with the big kids for the rest of the day. So um, I have the Lift the Flat First Math back there because that one is one that he does love and goes to on his own. I think he's pretty tired of seeing this one often. So um, I left that in there, but his math that I had planned for today, these are from the Reading Corner. These are actually supposed to be laminated and used with play-doh they're play-doh mats but i thought that this would be cute with um do a dot so i did not laminate these ones so we're working on some of the the you know teens and 20s numbers with him now so he is going to add gumballs to these and that goes along with his letter of the week because we did gut gut gumballs yesterday <laughs> so there's that he also has the rest of his pumpkin patch in there that's what he played with mostly yesterday he just continued to play with that for the rest of the afternoon so it's still set up over here did i add anything else oh i did add this numbers play-doh mat this came with um 
the game set that I got from the reading corner. So I added that to their little Play-Doh section down here. And then in his folder for today, um, I did not give them their stickers yesterday yet for their afternoon contributions. This was left over from yesterday and he knows how to do it. So if he wants to finish that, he can, as well as this little maze for him. That's all he has in his independent work side. And then we have Tuesday stuff in here, which we, again, we probably won't finish all this. I also put Monday stuff behind it. Um, and whatever we don't finish this week, I'll just stick aside. And we, like I said, we kind of take a couple of weeks for each week because we add so many additional things. So there's no pressure to finish any of this, but we'll start through some of Tuesdays and we'll see how far we get. Please, 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 please. Did you enjoy your maze? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Never mind. Oh, okay. It was easy, so. Eli, do you have fun playing with Anna's bins? Yeah. Is it relaxing? Yeah. All right, good morning, Eli. If yesterday was Monday, what is today? Tuesday. Good. What is your favorite color? Play trains. I like to play doll. I like to play plane. I like to play blocks. I like to play people. Like no, it's not beach ball, but you did the right syllables in case it was. I like to play plane. Pig and dig rhyme so hut does not rhyme pig, dig. right dig pig right pig, pig. so <laughs> let's do another one ready let's try another one pen den jug pen den okay so which one does not rhyme point to jug. it dog. okay boat dog dog boat which one does not belong Dog. Let's try again. Point to it with me. Fog. Boat. Dog. Point. Fog boat. I mean fog dog. Which one does not belong? Boat. Boat. Are you wanting to read a book? Mm -hmm. okay. These ones are the ones that rhyme. But, uh. Oh no! It didn't quite work out that way. All right. Let's bring out your next This thing. is the one that rhymed. Okay, Anna wants to read a book, so why don't you get your magnets Wait, and... these were the ones that were Eli, Annabeth wants to read a book, so do you want to read the book with us or do you want to build a letter G with your magnets? Build a letter G with my magnets. Okay, oh, she wants you to read her the book. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read it to her then. Okay. Well, cats, look. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Ooh, bunnies. Do you want to do bunnies again? What? There's more pages than I thought it was again. Do you want mommy to read you guys the book? Uh, uh, there's more pages than that. Good job. Okay, why don't you break it up and do it again? No? You're going to do some with triangles? Oh, you're going to make it bigger? Another one. Okay, I prepped the next activity while he was building that. So, Eli, we're going to play this game with these facing up, and then we're going to play it again with them facing over. Okay? So match up the pairs for me. Match up the word I. Where's the other one? Where's the other one in this pile? Yes, it's on your word. It's on your word, your literacy story, but where else is it? <coughs> it's in this pile somewhere. Where is it? Why? Oh, good. Oh, I see. You're trying to build the story. No. We're gonna play like a memory match. So there's I. Where's the other I? Find the other I in here. Good. I, I. Look at it with your eyes and tell me which one it is. Da da. Good. Da and da. Okay. So Flip over that. one more. Just one, not two. What word is that? What? 
Okay, flip over another one. Let's see if we find another one. Um, what is it? You were right. It's like. Flip over another one. What word is that? Okay, gumball has two words. What two words are in gumball? Gumball. Good, okay. So that's called a compound word. So we're gonna do more compound words, okay? So I want you to put the red color on the star fish. Put the red on the star fish. fish. Why is it star fish? Okay. Now I want you to put the orange on the butter fly. Oh, good correction. Okay. Put the green. Okay. So you want to go back to playing with magnets for a little bit? Yeah. Okay, you want to take a break from your folder? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to close it up then if you're ready for me to close it up. Okay, let me know if you're ready to do some more work, okay? Okay, he just asked me to not close it up, actually. So I'm gonna pick, I think he no. might be willing to squeeze one more thing out, but I don't think he's wanting to do. This is a long task, so I don't think we're gonna do that one. We'll save that for another day. So I think what we will do, I think we'll do this patterns because those ducks caught his eye when he opened his folder this morning and he's been looking forward to doing that. Is that the one you want to do, buddy? Yeah, duckies. You want to do those duckies? Yeah, duckies. Where did I stick it? Oh, here it is. Put it in the wrong place. Yeah, All right, duckies. I'll cut this out and get this ready, yeah, okay? Duckies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okie dokie, buddy. I have to help Jesse with his reading lesson now, okay? And I have to set up Bella's typing lesson. So you have options. Do you want to know what your options are? What? You can keep playing with your mag formers, or you can do the gumball stamping activity. We can look through your first Which math book, or you can set up your pumpkin patch again. It's up to Which you. Gumball stamping. You want me to set you up with it, but then I'm gonna need to walk away, okay? Okay, I am working one-handed here with Miss Annie, um, but we have got a cutting page for Eli this morning and a coloring page to do on his own and then I am just about to go through here and pull out our Wednesday plans and then match it up with some of these activities so same old same old just a different day okay so it is actually the afternoon and my little man asked if we could do preschool during quiet time so that is just like his way of communicating that he wants some uninterrupted one-on-one -on -one time um, because I'm not sure if it's really shown up much on camera, but I sit here on the rug with him and one kid's right over here at the table doing their school while another one is right over here um, on the computer doing their math. Um, and so we're kind of sitting right in between them. So usually it works out because the activities have been fine for him to, you know, finish up well, I pop out of the room, but he just wants some time. So uh, we're a little messy because we've had a full morning of play already. So he just played with Annabeth. Actually, they played with this for like hours and then they played, is it right here? They played with this set for a while. Um, this is not the bag it belongs in, but I had to clean it up quickly before um, these apples got, the baby got to the apples. So they just played this morning and they also played with this. And I'm not sure why, but Bella took it all down. Uh, I think she was just tidying up and took his signs down. So he might not be so happy when he finds out that his pumpkin patch has been disassembled, but she meant well. So um, we are just going to do some of this stuff and then the rest of his folder work. So all he did this morning was his little cutting page and a coloring page that I showed you already. So um, for his letter of the week work, he has this. These are printed off of the Reading Corners website. Um, this is like what he did yesterday. Actually, he hung it up yesterday because he was so proud of himself. So there's that. Um, I just have these little cubes from her and um, these are laminated little uh, gumball sheet so that's his letter of the week stuff tomorrow is Thursday and that's his favorite letter of the week day because we do the letter hunt and so we go around the house and find things that start with the letter G and then he either comes across it always ends in the pantry and he finds a snack that starts with that letter which I'm sure you guys can guess this is going to be the little treat he finds 
Um, but sometimes it's a, something that we cook together. So like donuts for the letter D, he found um, a picture of donuts and then we baked donuts together. I remember last year, not this year, I'm not sure what we did this year, but last year when we did the letter B, we were reading the B tree, so we did biscuits. Anyway, long story short, um, math here today, he is doing the geo board letter G, and there's just some other geo board stuff. I thought like when I was going to be doing this this morning that he could do this with me and then he could work on this while I checked on math and stuff with the big kids, but he might not do all of it now that it's just the two of us. Um, and then I'm gonna go grab him and get started with his stuff. Are you gonna take that and build a letter? Yeah. Why are you excited? Because I'm gonna take this and build a letter. Okay. All right, we're gonna build the letter G. G, which one, Mike, can you help me again? Yeah, I sure. Write it, then I can do the pieces. You want me to write it and you do the pieces? Yeah, you get to write seven again. That's 17. Do you think you can do that? We need to want. Yeah. Is it okay if the gumballs are square gumballs? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, you ready to do it? Yeah. Do you want me to help you count or do you want to do it yourself and then show me you your answer? Me count. Help you count. Okay, let's get started then, okay? You can just help count. You finishing up your spiky G? Yeah. Okay, let me know when right. you're finished. I just, I was going to keep going, wasn't I? 17 g g. Gumball. And what letter does gumball start with? G. What letter? G. Good. All right. G. Good. Which one is the word like? Good. Where's the word I? Okay. Where's the word and? The word and. Yes. Where's the word the? To play doll. I point to it when you read it for me, okay? I like to play plane. Good. That's I'm a lot of toys, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you have any of those toys? Uh, I have train. Mm -hmm. We have trains, we have blocks. Oh, we have toy planes, right? Toy planes. Oh, yes we do. So, I think we should organize this by soft. We have toy bubbles. We do. Let's organize this by soft toys and hard toys. You wanna do that? Mm-hmm. Okay, will you sort them? Soft toys, soft. Is this? Um, I think that, I think that's a hard toy. I think it's like a rubber duck on wheels, not just like a soft squishy duck. <laughs> what are those? Crayons? Okay, are yeah. you ready? I'm gonna read you a story, okay? Are you ready for me to read you the story? Yep. Okay, get ready, listen, okay? I got a brand new box of crayons, but they dumped out everywhere. I need to put them back in. What would it look like when the box was empty? What about when we start putting crayons back in? Continue until you get the whole box. So tell me, what number is, oh, what number is one? One. What number is three? Okay, good. So touch the numbers and tell me what numbers they are in, what the numbers they are. In order, start with one. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so which is the empty box? That will go on one. Okay. One. Okay, then we started putting crayons back in, so what would be next? Okay. You think you can finish this one by yourself? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hey, what happened to your orange shirt that you were wearing earlier? Oh yeah, I took it off. You took it off, okay. Do you like your Superman shirt better? Yeah. Yeah. That goes there. That goes there. All right. Awesome. Okay, I have a question. What? Do you want to use glue? <laughs> yeah, okay, go get your glue stick. My mother, I need glue. I'm going to tell you. Okay, 
So to do this glue project, before we do it, I need you to point to each shape, and I need you to tell me the color and the name of the shape. So I'll start, okay? Green square. Blue circle. Yeah? Red triangle. Blue square. There's your concentration face. No. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, I had to move on to this. Okay, dot, 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 dot. But it, remember, dot, dot, not a lot, right? Yeah. Okay, let's put them on there. Green. Good. Is this an oval? It's a circle. Okay, he is tiring out here, so we did not get around to this or any of the game packs. Um, we also did not cut out and assemble those, so I'm gonna add this in with the rest of the work we didn't finish. So as you can tell, we've had like two, about two things we don't get to each day. Um, but we also have all of the game packs, so I can extend I each of these units to go, really go for two weeks, which is okay because the curriculum is 24 weeks long and I do 36 weeks with the older kids, so this works out great. Okay, Eli's folder today is just his chore chart and some um, scissor skills. He's been enjoying the scissor papers this week, so I decided to just put that in there. And then just our Thursday activities here. And then over here on his shelves, I have his letter of the week stuff, which is his favorite. It is the letter hunt. Um, so I just put it on sticky notes and we walk around the house together and sing like the, the G says G, that song. And this is his favorite activity because it always ends with a treat. And then um, this game pack is from the reading corner. So this is just a gumball math game pack. So it wasn't suggested for this week or anything, but I found just a ton of gumball stuff. So since that was our letter activity, I grabbed that for him. And these are the clips that go with that. And then um, over here for math for him, I have his, um, and this is another reading corner game. It is the recipe cards. So on the back here, I read this to him and then he builds the lunch. So it's just simple instruction following and you can mix it up to make it as easy or difficult. Ah! Go back in here one handed, okay. And then he's still playing with this. Yesterday we had a little, another little toddler over and he set up a pumpkin patch for his sister and the other little girl, so that was really cute. And then I just changed these bottom ones up a little bit, put them in a different order to make them more appealing because Annabeth tends to just go for the first bin. Um, and I added um, a couple of her puzzles as well. So that is today. Today is our last like school school day. We do Fun Friday on Fridays. So he will be doing a letter of the week activity tomorrow, but he won't be doing a ton of preschool because we don't do folder work on Fridays. So that's what we've got going on today. What are you doing? Five gumballs plus two, two, two gumballs. Makes how many gumballs? Five, 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 six, seven. Awesome. So I clip this on seven. You clip it on seven. Three, yep. And five gumballs. Hey Anna, are you ready to seven. sing your song? Okay, what do you want to sing? La, la. Round and round? Let's see. Okay, ready? The wipers on the bus go. <laughs> Good, swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go. All. Good. Okay, are you ready for the next one? The driver on the bus says, move on back. Move on. Right now, listening to Beethoven. I could not figure out how to get a composer study into our morning basket, so they are spending 10 minutes at each station rotating around. So Eli is playing with his gears toy now. He just rotated away from Lincoln Logs, which was um, his second station. The gears is his third and station. The first station he played with today were Tinker Toys. So I just, and this does not happen every day. It used to happen every day. Um, I used to schedule about 10 minutes between each subject years ago. 
for them to just play with some STEM style toys, but now it is just something that we use as a transition between school and lunchtime. So, um, and I don't know, I mean, my all my older kids still enjoy playing with these things as well. And we have um, Vetiver in the diffuser and we have Beethoven playing and it is a really great way to come into lunchtime. What is that? Lift it up. What's that for? What's that for? Well, what letter is that? It's G. Yeah, and what's it on? Paper. A sticky paper? You G hunt. Okay, get all your letter G stickies, and I'm gonna finish reading Jesse's book with him, and then we're gonna go on a G hunt. Yay. What did you find? Get get get. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. The G says go. Everyone likes the sound of G says go. You see anything? Gumbo. Gumbo. Say it ain't so. <laughs> go. Okay, Go now on. put the plane on number one and the blocks on number four. It's a lot of instructions. No, uh, in you! In oh, we'll start over. <laughs> Good morning, it is Friday, and I don't think I've mentioned this before that I can think of, but um, we do not do folders on Friday mornings. We just do chores, so they grab their folders because their chore chart is in it, but we don't do folders or morning basket on Fridays. We do something called Fun Friday. So that's actually something that we do as a family. We play board games, we do review games. Sometimes we watch like documentary movies and have popcorn. We do a picture book picnic, all sorts of different fun stuff. But the, my big kids do their Yellow Spot Sun um, art curriculum on Fridays and they spend about 30 minutes on that. So I do have something for Eli to do while they do that. And then um, I have this for him as well in case he chooses not to participate in one of the games. Yesterday when we went to go do this and he was setting up for it, they actually just ended up playing Pumpkin Patch all together. So again, um, we didn't pull this out because they were just playing so well. And they just brought math into that naturally because there's a menu and he has a little cash register. So I let it be. Um, so this is here in case he changes his mind. But today, our little um, fun Friday project we are making ghosts you know for the letter G and this is just a good opportunity for me to spend some time one-on-one -on -one with him crafting and with the baby so things that I would have done with my older kids when they were preschool or toddler age that I just don't have the time for anymore because it seems like I only do things when they can be group activities with four kids I haven't done that transition well yet to where I kind of separate the big kids and the little kids for crafts and things. So I feel like my little kids are missing out on these opportunities sometimes. So Friday morning is our chance. So I just have some different scrapbooking paper here for them. This is an idea I got from Little Ones Learn on Instagram. And um, just some star stickers and some paint and googly eyes. And basically, well you'll see, but they just will take this old spatula and stamp the paint on. I might do Annabeth's hands and then just make little ghosts. So that's what I've got set up for him today. It's everything. We never even touched the rest of the stuff yesterday as far as like tidying up. So everything's just still as it was Thursday nights. I kind of take the night off. So fun Friday. Mm. You got a sticker for me? Mm. Good job. Mm. You kind of spread it. Check the bottom. Okay. Scrape it off a little on the plate. You're scooping it up. We want to scrape it off. So, rub. Ah, ah. Here, let me help you. Just rub it off a little bit on there. Okay, now turn it this way. Let's get your other hand. I'm. I know. I'm just trying to line you up. Okay, ready? Good. Now lift it up. Good. Do you like it? What? More. There's more. Are you gonna do another one? Out so cute. This was adorable, and I did not realize how difficult it would be for him to do these star stickers on his own. But I'm glad we got a little bit of extra fine motor skill development going there as well. So that's it. He is going to go ahead and play this week. We are playing a review game, and we are playing Kaboom in our um, on our Fun Friday. And so we are going to do that together now and call it a wrap on this week.
Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give this a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I will see you guys soon with other preschool related content. Bye.